Good day, YouTube. I hope you're all well. Welcome to episode 10 of our Hat Trick Manager series. We look at how we are currently doing this season with a match versus top of the league. Then we do a youth pool and look into how our training cycle is progressing. If you wish to watch more videos like this one and further content from Hat Trick and Football Manager, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump right into it. All right, let's start with by going to my office, I guess. So we have played a match. That's my youth team. I think that was the last game of the season for my youth. Played FX Power yesterday. I haven't, I don't know what the result is, but we did play them for the week before. We got battered and I've put it on Play It Cool. Let's try and bring more morale up. Should we watch it? Should we watch some? Yeah, let's, let's go watch some. So I don't know what the result is. Right, so it's going on talking about for pre kickoff stuff. I'm just going to skip past this. So if our away team will play a 2 5 3, and we are playing 5 3 2, because obviously we're training our defenders. If I remember correctly, X Power won for last match. These teams played by 5 1. Oh, okay, it was worse than I thought. 5 1. But FX Power, they're top. To be fair, they've, they've probably got a good team by now, and they should probably be pushing for promotion 11 mi minutes one just need to watch out for beyond village goal now sneaking up on the left now shaking off his marker he can wait it out for goalie no he shoots bam it slams onto the far post and then into the net that's a goal wow i mean it could be a little bit more fast on for commentary to be fair right okay so we're losing one nil already 12 minutes played Got a feeling we're going to get battered because we're playing it cool. This could be one of our worst loss. The home fans chant. They're singing an old Katy Perry song. New lyrics though. I scored a girl. I scored a goal and I like it. I scored a girl. I scored a girl. Hmm. Could be an interesting one. He's put too much on it though. What a shame. Such an opportunity for crowd full silent and David Furk. Can't believe he's missed fortune. The next one. Some nice movement now. Defense falls back and has thrown up an iron curtain against Wanderers. There's no way through. What, through his two defenders? Sean Cochran, more out of frustration than conviction, sends up a speculative effort for an equalizer, but it's easily collected by the keeper. Another miss. This is where they score now. They do one pass through my five defenders and score, whereas I can't get past these two defenders. 29 minutes. He breaks through. He sidesteps defender, turns and shoots. He forces the keeper to make one of the best saves for the day. Nice move, but ultimately it led to nothing. 30 minutes. Cochrane is on for ball, pushing up for right. Lovely step over and he's passed for halfway line. Look at this, Sean Cochrane has found some space. He's manoeuvred himself into a position to take it into the box. And then he falls over, breaks his leg and he's out of injured for all year. Oh yeah, look. We see the phantom nudging crumple, crumples to the turf. He's crying out in agony. Clutching it. Oh no. <laughs> I spoke too soon. No penalty. And now back to the ankle, but it's the other one now. Ah, oh, so he looked like he was diving. As he doesn't even know what ankle he hurt. It's time for Wanderers to line up for defensive wall. Got five defenders. Ah, oh, okay, it's free kick. Prepares to take it. Chips it. Catches the keeper out and scores. That's my guess. Ah, oh, close. Oh, but it deflected off the bar. He should have, have aimed a little lower. No shit, Sherlock. Jerry Mojny scampers down for middle of opposition's defence. Seemingly unchallenged. He's still going. My goodness, is anyone going to stop him? My right back. Apparently not. He's now just outside the penalty box. He shoots. Laugh of it all. Oh, way over the bar. That's just sloppy. He needs to show more focus. The coach folds his arms and raises one eyebrow. Can I do one eyebrow? And that's half time. If uh, goes chasing after a long ball down for inside left. He enters the penalty box and falls to the ground. That's what I said about the last one, right? <laughs> Defender was definitely brushing up against him. Oh, are they going to give a penalty? Probably not. The referee waves it all away. No penalty. Don't get penalties in this game. No, I don't anyway. You could literally be headbutted in for box and you don't get a penalty. Keep on pushing. I mean, giving them a game. They've got the goal, but we've got five chances against their four. Hero is chasing a long ball through for middle. 
Gotta remember we're playing it cool as well. Rounds his defender. Oh, a superb strike by Bira. But another defender gets in a leg. Another defender, of course. Out there, two defenders. I think we're going to make a change since the fifth minute. Oh yeah, I'm pushing up my uh, wing backs. So as you can see here, look, Barlex and Mojny. We're not winning. Just to get a bit more attacking. 79 minutes, Bondrews is pushing on for attack by Sean Cochrane. Sean Cochrane's played well today. Central defence move in to block his advance, but he manages to pass it sideways. It's hovered up by another defender and it's cleared to safety. You must have some brilliant defenders. What's the, what's the rating they all on? 8, 6. I mean, compared to my defenders, but I've got just quite young defenders there. And my best players are up here. Where is he's, I mean, you see his numbers, right? 9.586. Not one to disappoint for Wondrous players begin to press forward as well. I mean, we've had for most chances here. We just can't find them. Can't fight. I can't even get past these two defenders. Also, a few crisp passes. David Ferk finds himself with a ball all alone in the middle of a dance. He passes the ball to a teammate, then drives forward, expects him for give and go. And there it is for pass left him left behind for defenders with only for keeper to beat. Oh, he's almost at the goal line and tries to angle it up to avoid for keeper's leg, but somehow it missed the goal altogether. Yeah. Eight chances versus their four. Washington places his ball right at the feet of Jose Brera. Oh, we did deserve something from this, but he does not know what to do with it. We're not far away from possession. We're having for chances. And Brera, <laughs> embarrassing excuse for a shot. Picked up by a goalkeeper. Yeah, it's, it's just one, it's going to be one of those days. And that's it. Finishes 1-0. They had possession, 55%. We had for chances, nine versus their four, uh, but they got for goal. A bit like uh, Real Madrid Liverpool. We had for chances and just couldn't put it away. Couldn't beat their two defenders and their goalie. They broke through me once and scored it. But to be fair, I'm actually not that disappointed with the result. So, how has it been going for us this season? So, League, how are we doing? We've lost four games this season, with two of them being against FX Power. Just lost, as you saw, 1 0. Then we lost 5-1. Then we lost to Ifley 5-3. They're both probably the two top teams of the division. Then we beat Helix, who I don't think they've actually got any control anymore. Husky United we beat. Newark Rangers we lost. Uh, and then lost to a couple of bot teams. Maybe, maybe we could push for third. Just means that we don't get to play our playoff game, which we've played every single season since we've been in division five that'd be nice that'd be a great achievement for me especially in that we've now started our training cycle we've made a lot of differences got rid of a lot of good players as well our defenders and just in transition because i do want to look at utilizing this cash into a couple of areas where i'm not going to be touching for a while we could spend five million on a striker that'd be our record signing just to give us something there we don't have to worry about playmakers we don't have to worry about defenders because we're training defenders at the moment and that's where our best players should be at scoring and goalkeepers so that's three players to really focus on so that's where i want to spend this cash and then go to my scouts and see if we pull anything good was well, inadequate 16 inadequate winger nah weak weak poor 15 no but no nah. And then we always take this last one. Poor week 15. And we just have to take him. We just look at who's done well in training recently. So last week we saw defending Jake Facolati and Jose Bira. And then we go, oh, I can't. Ah, oh, it's a subscriber thing. Okay, there you go. That's one of the features if you want to become a subscriber. Right into my excel spreadsheet and all i need to show you guys on this is we haven't done week eight yet uh for the week we're currently in but uh this is kind of where we're at with since we've been doing defending training so our first one was sean cochran who went from four to five and then we got Jose Bira, he went from three to four. He's actually just popped again, hasn't he, this week? Because he's gone four to five. So he's popping quite good. Parangeli, he's gone from seven to eight. And then in week six, we had three pop. Who Ludwig went from four to five. A striker, who also can be our playmaker as well. And then we had Loeb Abajo go from solid to excellent. 
Uh, he's one of our young defenders that we brought in, so that's good. He's man, he's gone up a bit as well. And then Dito Nas Nascimento, who I might actually sell next year. He's different up a little bit. I don't think he's going to go up that great. But we'll see, we'll see. And then last week we had three more players pop again. And as you can see, Sean Cochran popped again. Young Kwan Yup, so he's gone from a excellent to formidable. 8 to 9. And then I've just shown you uh, this week's ones as well. Right, so that's it. So a quick league update of where we're at. That's probably how it's going to continue over the next few weeks. But I'll just keep on giving you updates on our players training. What do you reckon we should do? Should we just hold on that 7 million? I was trying to think maybe we could save up for top, top coach. Is it worth it? Is it worth me bringing in a coach for that much money or should i reinvest it into my team and buy a really expensive player let me know in the comment section what do you think i should do right thank you for watching i'll catch you on for the next one thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please leave a like if you would like to watch more videos like this please subscribe and to be notified click on the bell